you're missing out on the most important part of the rep, I'm gonna fix it for you. All right, guys, I'm gonna refer to this as the transition portion of the rep. And what I mean is the very bottom third into the very bottom into the first third of the positive. That to me, that little sequence of exercise is the most beneficial in terms of gaining lean muscle tissue and staying injury free. And I cannot tell you how many guys and girls I see out there and they're completely just disregarding this. And I'm gonna show you on three different move movements. I'm gonna show it to you on a chest press, I'm gonna show you on a back mo movement, and I'm gonna show it to you on a hack squat. You are literally cheating this and it's causing you not to get maximal muscle development and a really high probability of muscle tear. And we want neither of those. I want you growing the best and staying injury free. That's the purpose of this channel, right? So let me get on this hammer tree incline and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna use any weight on these machines today because they aren't needed to show you what I'm gonna show you. I don't care if I have no weight or five plates on this thing. When you see me press weights, whether that be the dumbbells, the barbell, whatever, this portion, I'm gonna call it, again, the transition portion of the rep, is this is how it's gonna look. Okay, ready? I'm here. I'm, I just press it all the way up. I'm controlled, controlled, controlled. From here down, I wanna be even more controlled. Stretch that chest and then up. It's control, 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 up, right? Not this. The amount of people I see, literally, they're just jerking out of this motion or they're stretch reflexing it, right? It's, they will actually control and they'll build speed and press. Control, build speed and press. So they're using that stretch reflex, right? This portion here is kind of like a rubber band. As I pull it down, the moment I release it at a fast, it's gonna explode that way as humanly possible, right? We do not wanna do that in the muscle building world. That's the exact opposite. That's what strong mass, what power lifters, what weight lifters wanna do. What I wanna do is I wanna control out of this bottom position as much as I can. So doing this one arm at a time, coming down, control. I'm really owning this. Feel that maximum stretch of my chest. And now from here, now I can come up and stretch, contract my chest. Control, 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 up. Just like that. This right here is how we lift weights and lift weights optimally because that's gonna give you the best probability for muscle growth, right? Because we're not, when the muscle is the most stretched, it has the most tension, right? So my pec is fully lengthened through here. It's like literally, even with no way I can feel it. Now, when I press out of that hole, this is the most pec I'm getting from, from here to I get to about right here. Right now, my triceps are starting to cut on. So from here to here, I'm getting the most development. So why do I want to cheat that? Why do I want to get inertia to cheat through that range? And then I'm pressing on my chest. We don't want that. Thing about this logically, control the hardest part. The hardest part of the rep here is toward my chest. Control, double down on it. Then press with your pets. That's the chest. Let me show you back. The side back row. So, what we're thinking about here is I'll see a lot of guys, right? They'll set up on it, good. But what they'll do is they won't let it all the way out. So they'll stop here. Look at that. Look at that. You see that extra three inches? That's letting my lats out. So from here, I'm letting my lats out to stretch. And then from here, I'm gonna row. So instead of stopping here and just jerking it, right? Where we let out, still that stretch, now contract. Let out, control, fill that back, open up, now pull. Just like that. Stretch, now pull. Just like that. So I'm forcing myself to stay in the hardest portion of the rep as long as possible, right? I'm not trying to cheat out of that hole. I'm just not. So with chest, own that bottom position. With the back, feel the back let out and then drive back and squeeze. The two extreme ends are gonna be the most hard of this row, this row right? And so let me show you again. From here to here, it's relatively easy. Stretching is gonna be where the growth happens. And the hardest part of this rep is gonna be here to here, this top third. That's where I'm the weakest. So stretch, feel that back, make it grow. Get back here and own that contraction. Stretch, open it, squeeze that back. Those end ranges here on this piece are gonna be the most important, so own it. All right, now I want to hack squat because I'm gonna show you legs. You know, I couldn't leave this out without training and doing legs. The best hack squat on the planet ever made. The old school flex piece. <laughs> Dwayne bought this from some dude out of his garage. And I'm so grateful for it because this is the best hack squat. If you've ever used it here or anywhere else, I'm telling you, zero freaking knee pain. So. All right, of all the things that I just taught you, this is where I see it screwed up the most, and it's your squatting your leg pressing patterns. 
The amount of people that dive bomb these reps, bounce off the safeties, bounce off their calves. It's the reason they move tons of load and their legs look like dog shit, meaning they're small. It, it makes me sad, it makes my soul hurt. Because you have all those weights on there that you had to load and you aren't making it hard. You're making it easy. You're trying to find ways to cheat. So let's talk through this and I'm gonna make your legs grow, but I'm also gonna humble you because it's gonna make you pull plates off the piece. Again, I don't have any weight on here. It doesn't freaking matter. Get your feet on the platform where it feels good to your knees. If that's up here, I hate it, but okay, if that's what you have to do, do it. If you can get your heels all the way down at the bottom, by all means do it. This is, for me, is too low on this piece. I like right in the middle. That feels the best. Now, what I wanna do every rep, no matter if it's a warm up, a feeder set, or a work, this is what it's gonna look like. Control, 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 own, up. Now, notice what I did there. As I came down, this right now is where the most important portion of this rep is. To here, that's depth. This is crushing my VMO, guys. My quad sweep is hammered. I'm on my heels. From here to the next third of the range of motion is the most important of this hack squat. Bam. Control, control, pause, up. Now, even if you don't want to pause this, let me show you what it looks like. Control, control, control. I'm sitting on my calves, now up. Control, 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 sit on my calves, now up. I'm not dive bombing. You see how I just flew down on that rep? Guys, I just lost the negative. Stop it. This portion right here, own, own, up. Own, 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 up. Just like that. Now, you know, I, you guys know I love to pulse this shit. Come down, I will just sit in this hole because I can do it all day. No matter if it's three plates, four plates, five plates, six plates. I can get here and hold, why? Guess what, because I have good ankle mobility, my legs are strong in this position because I've worked it, and then from here, now all I'm gonna do is just explode on this hole as aggressively as humanly possible to three force lockout. So here, bam, control, own this, get there, bam, up. One more, sit on those hamstrings, bam. You must, must, capital M-U-S-T, do this if you wanna have better legs. I know it's not cool, I know the reps don't, or in a sex is just you flying up and down like a kamikaze person. But that's where the growth lies. That little bottom range of on the way down, pulls, or just come down control and then up, that's where you want big legs, that's where you gotta work. You want that VMO that just literally swallows your knee. You want the sweep that comes off of your hip. That's my secret. The amount of times people have said, man, Chris, your leg shape is incredible. What do you do? Is it genetic, blah, blah, blah. Yes, part of it's a genetic, I, I can't deny that. The other part of that is I own the bottom portion of squats and leg press, belt squat, lunging, split squats. I get all the way down and I control it through that bottom third and I ram it up explosive as I can to the bottom third once I've lost the inertia. That is the biggest thing. You don't want momentum. This, is, this sport of bodybuilding is the anti-momentum. We do not want that. We want as much force and making lifts as hard as humanly possible. And I know that's why people do it because it's easier and you can be more weight and look cooler on Instagram. That's not the answer for maximum muscle gain. As I said to you a thousand times on this channel, the amount of weight that I lift is not impressive. The way that I move weight is. The way that my muscle hangs off the bone is. Most people want that round bubbly full look to their muscle tissue. I have that through doing things like this by finding ways to make exercises harder and then taking it to the end to where my body can't move anymore with good form. That's the key. Like, share, subscribe, transition reps. Own them, learn how to do them perfectly, and get your legs, arms, chest, back, everything growing at a faster rate. Christmas TV.